Good morning. I wanted to pop on here this morning because I wanted to show you, we're going to try to keep everything super simple and straightforward. So there's not um, kind of getting lost in all the tools and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is every Friday, I am going to put out my next week's, next week's schedule. And I'll show you how this is going to work. So as soon as you log into Clever, you will go into Canvas you will get, let's, let's try what it's going to look like. Okay. So you'll log into canvas to, from clever. You're in clever. You log into canvas and you're going to pull up your dashboard. You'll click on homeroom. <clears throat> and here again is my zoom link. Then you'll come down and the class schedules here. Now, what's really cool about this is that I can update it from my actual canvas or my Canva. So everything is workable in here. So you can see that the place value chart here or the place value song is you can play it in the actual video. So you can play it in here. So we'll start playing. And then down in the bottom corner, you can expand. So then you'll click escape and then it'll go back to the schedule. So you can have your kids come in here and watch the videos in the mornings um, rather than having to go into my Padlet. Now, again, they're all in here toward the end. Um, any videos that I put in here, you can also have them watch from here um, or in the daily routine. So these are videos that might be helpful this week for your child. They may be fun and just want to, you know, recall that kind of stuff. So you can click on these. Um, and again, just start playing from here. And then down in the corner, you'll just click on the expand button there. Like it has over here. So you'll just click on the little expand button and it'll expand on the whole screen. Um, and then in the bottom left-hand corner, see if it will pop up. It will, the second slide, you slide over and it will give you my live lesson schedule for language arts. Now, after I ready is all, stop sharing. After I ready is all said and done next week, this the live Zoom schedule will change because of the fact that I'll understand where your child a little bit better. So again, when you go into I ready and we do that together next week, um, I want to make sure you're sitting with your child and you're helping them in the respect of click on the wrong answer. If they don't know it, the test is adaptable. And so what will end up happening is, is if you just allow your child just to take it, they start clicking the right answers by chance. It will just get harder and harder and harder. So you want to make sure that you um, are with them and make sure that they are clicking the answers that you know they know. Um, and then clicking off, I'd rather them lower at the beginning of the year so we can show some growth. Um, and what else? Uh, I'm going to remember after I get off this, that's, that's what's going to happen. Um, let me think about it. Hang on really quickly. Got it. Uh, the iReady assessment will run from eight eight in the morning till about 11. And then we'll have a second session from noon to four. Now, keep in mind, your child will take part in these time periods, but take as many breaks as you need. And if you want them to come to the later session the same, that day to do math or language arts, then you can do that. You can come to both sessions to complete both of them. The following week, I will have makeups. So they will take the place of my language arts class. So again, we're going to stagger things a little bit just because, again, I already started so late this year compared to years previous where we did it literally the first week of school and then it was done and we could move on. Um, so ultimately what it comes down to is the proctored times will be there from eight to noon, 11, and then noon, I believe it was until four. So they don't need to take part in both of them. They can take part in part of them, take a break, come back to the next one, that kind of thing. But they do have to take them next week because I need to know where to figure out where their placement is for math. So then all the rest of the live classes I can sort through and we can get things set in stone. Um, I'm super excited. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for just um, sticking with me on this and being in communication with me. I really, really appreciate everything. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys later.